One of the questions I get asked by farmers a lot is, should I grow straight lucerne or should I grow a lucerne grass mixture? And that's the subject of the study we've got running here at Ashley Dean. It's part of a Pastoral 21 trial that's been funded by Beef and Lamb New Zealand. And we've got lucerne um, in pure stands and monocultures, but we're comparing it with the lucerne in Coxwood and lucerne brome. And at this time of the year, you see one of the major differences in those pastures. So in the background, you can see the ewes and lambs have started grazing the lucerne in Coxfoot. The Coxfoot has grown during the winter. Um, we're starting to get a little bit long and, and really need to, needed to be stocked. And so we've done that. We've got the, um, the animals in there. And the animals are actually going through and taking out all of the lucerne that they can find in that lucerne Coxfoot pasture. Once they've eaten that, they'll then move on to eating the Coxfoot and they'll be rotationally grazed from this period um, onto one of six paddocks that are in this trial. And the paddock we're standing in, the paddock we're, that we're looking at is actually a pure lucerne stand and we've spent the winter ensuring that we don't have much grass in it so part of our weed control has been making sure that we don't have um, perennial ryegrass in this case or some of the poa annua that comes in to the sward. So our weed control has dealt with that and we've got a reasonably pure sward of lucerne to be able to compare the live weight gain in here. We won't be stocking this for another week or so, so one of the advantages of the lucerne grass mixes has been earlier stocking in the spring, but part of our plan is also to think about how we might stock this lucerne or, or lucerne at this stage in a set stocking regime. So we'll, we'll have a look at a set stocking regime on another lucerne stand in our next video.